Good morning, everybody. It's one o'clock in the morning, and I know it's been a while since I posted a video, so this is the latest one I got for you. Got another vehicle, the uh, 2019 Toyota Corolla, or yeah, Corolla, was uh, pretty much uh, repossessed, so I had to get another vehicle for work. And unfortunately, this was my choice. Now, I know what you're thinking. Geez, you're used to driving something a little bit nicer than this. Well, at the time, this is what I could afford. This is a 2006 Mercury Million Premier. And the front end was actually in a collision. And when they replaced it, the bottom parts right here are supposed to have fog lights. But this bumper does not. So... The car itself has fog lights, but when they replaced the front end, they did not replace the bumper on it. So the bumper with the fog lights. Uh, let's look at the motor real quick. I have it running. Uh, <clears throat> not gonna do a test drive. The motor is a 3 liter V6 which is actually supposed to be a good motor for Ford. The front uh, spark plug and wires are easily changed. The back ones are, believe, I believe, are underneath this and take manifold. Uh, I've put a new battery, a new alternator on it. Um, topped off all the fluid, made sure it had good stuff in it. Uh, it's got, a, like I said, a new alternator. And the alternator was kind of hard to change. I had to watch a couple of videos on it. New battery. We'll go ahead and close this up. And uh, it has the uh, prop rod, but the prop rod was broken during the accident. So, <clears throat> and as you can see, the alignment is not the greatest. They, I, I'm telling you, they did a really bad job of repairing this car. It's got heat and AC, all power. Um, I believe except the passenger side seat. I have not looked at that yet. Uh, it's got alloy wheels. The backup lights do not work. I changed the bulbs in it and they still don't work. One license plate light worked. The other one's so rusted it just won't even work. Um, I believe it's the plug for the lights itself that, that doesn't work. Gas cap's broken off. I got a replacement but the bolts are actually broken off in it. It's got a sunroof that's a plus it's got heat and ac that's a plus we'll go inside and take a look at this in here turn down the radio for a minute it's got heat and ac heater does work the screen for the radio does not which i'm not a fan of the radio anyway so i'm planning on changing it probably putting it in touch screen if i even decide to keep it i haven't even decided what i want to do with this yet it get, doesn't get the greatest gas mileage. It gets about 20 to 25. Um, automatic headlights, which is actually a plus. And to turn on the uh, fog lights, you pull out. A little light comes on to indicate that the lights are on for the fog lights. But it doesn't have fog lights hooked into it, so I just leave it off. It's got a power trunk. Steering wheel mounted controls, which is a plus it controls not only the radio or the cruise control it also controls the um, climate control it's got heated seats but the driver's side is tore up so i don't even use them uh, automatic it's not a cvt which is also a plus for it because i cannot stand cvt transmissions it's got a clock that actually works but the light backlighting does not work for it and like i said the faceplate for the radio doesn't work so i had actually had to go buy and set the radio stations basically using memory of what the stations were on and i managed to get it horn works but terribly horn does not work the greatest i think it probably just needs to be regrounded we'll go ahead and give it a drive back to the shop like i said i'm, I'm here at work it's one o'clock in the morning but i'm down here in the concrete plant, plant area so we'll go ahead and drive it back the uh, traction control light is on. That's probably because of the brake light for the back right tire. Back right sensor needs to be changed. Check engine light is on because of an O2 sensor. The ABS light is on because the sensor needs to be changed, which is tied into the traction control. And that's why those lights are on. 
airbag light is on because of the seat belt pretensioner. Seat belt pretensioner is broken, which causes the seat belt not to work very well. Like I said, I mean, I needed something to get back and forth to work. This car was only $3,000 and I'm paying on it. So, <clears throat> um, it wasn't the wisest choice for a car. Uh, I could have went with something a little more expensive, but this was the only one that they were willing to work with me for at the time. And it's the same place where I got my truck. And it's the same place where I got the uh, Acura. I actually traded the Acura for this because the Acura, the clutch on it went out. And like I said, the Acura had a new engine and a new transmission, but when they put the engine and transmission in, they put the old clutch back on. Guess what was the first thing to go on it? The clutch. And I've watched videos on it from Eric the Car Guy to a couple of independent shops, uh, 1A Auto, um, Actually, 1A Auto is how I learned to change the alternator on this. And then I watched another video and figured out how to get it out a little easier. And as you can see over there, I still got the truck. Uh, the leaf spring on it went that went bad, so I can't drive the truck right now. Leaf spring, already done priced out. I'm just waiting to get the money together so I can get it, which ain't bad. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this car has 154,486 miles, almost 154,500. Like I said, traction control lights on, check engine lights on, ABS lights on, airbag lights on. I mean, this thing's filled to the brim with Christmas tree lights. Top speed's 120 miles an hour. I mean, it's a, got a dual exhaust. The only thing that it's got good going for it right now is the sunroof, which everybody knows I'm not really a big fan of, but it looks pretty nice on this car. It really does. Um, it's the premier package, which basically means it's got the steering wheel mounted controls, uh, climate control zone, heated seats, um, CD player, AM, FM radio. Uh, it's supposed to have, uh, telephone access, but this one does not have that. So it's not the fully upgraded premier package. Uh, it's just a regular premier package and like I said the I'm gonna change the radio out because of a the faceplate don't work and uh, B everybody knows I'm into touchscreen radios so I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this car I really don't want to keep it but then again I have to use it for work so I'll probably end up just driving it keeping the oil changed in it I got to change the spark plugs on it I got to find a way to get all these lights off because I reset the check engine light and within at least an hour it comes back on abs light is because of a sensor in the back right i got to change the back right tire which i have one i just haven't done it yet so that's probably it uh only a probably about a 10 ish minute video it's got the three liter v6 which is supposed to be a good motor we'll let that happen see what happens with that it's got the uh uh, information display and set up the reset the uh, lights and everything on it um, that's pretty much about it I mean nothing really spectacular uh, oh and it also needs door hinge pins too um, I don't know how to change them, them on these so I'll probably just let that go uh, it's got dings and dents and scratches. It's an old car. It was a good used vehicle for whoever, whoever owned it before me. But when they wrecked it, they really did a bad repair. I'm just all honesty. They did a really bad repair on it. They didn't line the hood up correctly. They didn't replace one of the fenders that should have been replaced. The passenger side inner fender well, they did not replace the, uh, the lining for it. So everything on that side is completely exposed. Like I said, they just did a really shoddy repair on this car and as i get out uh, it's got the uh the stereo and the uh, windows can go up and down until you actually open the door <clears throat> that right there needs to be addressed i have to replace the seat or put a seat cover over it i'll probably just put a seat cover over it because i'm not really even worried about it honestly um, it's got the uh, twilight headlights, which go off after you shut the door. It's got the mirror light. 
Um, it's got in I thought it had integrated turn signals, but I don't think this one does. I thought it did. It's got LED tail lights, HID headlights, LED turn signals. It has LED backup lights, but like I said, the lights that I replaced them with, they don't work, so I think it's the plug. Um, three of the four tires are actually good. The one on that side in the back is not good. Like I said, I got a replacement. I just haven't put it on yet. You can see some dings and dents on it as I'm looking at it. The Like I said, the hood's not lined up correctly. The bumper's probably not lined up correctly. If Let me get a little closer. You might be able to see it. Yeah, right here. It's not lined up. Matter of fact, I can move this. So, th this car was just really badly put back together. And you can see right here, I tried to adjust this and it just did not go back into place. So... I guess I'm just going to leave it as is. Drive it around until I can actually get some money saved up and get another car. I don't plan on keeping this. That's how bad it is. You know me and my cars. I, I, if I like a car, I try and take care of it and everything. But this car, I'm just not keeping it. So I'm just going to drive it probably until income taxes, which is two months away, three months away. And then I'm just going to get rid of it. So I'll probably just drive it as is. Make sure the oil's changed in it. And then I'll probably trade it off on something else. So that's it. 12 minute video it's your birthday happy birthday it's your anniversary happy anniversary and until then take care and i always say this by uh keep getting your hands dirty but in this time dime time day and age i'm gonna say keep your hands clean keep your social distancing wear your mask where you're supposed to uh if you're vaccinated wonderful um i'm not uh i feel safe so until i'm proved otherwise it's it is what it is and love each other as i always say until then take care bye bye